Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I'm making a card on video. This is such a sweet card. How pretty is that? We've got textured embossed background. We've got die cuts. We've got blends going on. It's just lovely and just simple. And I wanted to focus on this one particular die set that we have. So you may, you will be forgiven if you missed the iconic dies. So historically, I guess all of the time I've been a demonstrator, we've always had dies that correlate to a stamp set. So it's dies, it's stamps and dies, dies and stamps. And I don't think I've ever known, other than things like layering circles or, you know, shaped dies, I don't think I've ever known dies to be standalone. And we've got, I think it's eight sets towards the back of the catalogue. And they don't have stamps that go with them. And actually, I missed them the first time around and actually had to go back in and place an order. So it's this section here, so from dies. So prior to that, this section here is bundles. So dies that do have stamps that go with it. But then from this section here called dies, page 162, there are these eight other sets, basic borders, flower market, give it a whirl, um, Iconic, which is one I'm going to use, layering diorama, uh, picture this, stitched greenery. So how many is that? Two, four, six, seven of them. I thought there were eight. I made that up. Oh, there is, tailor-made tags. There are eight of them. So you will have been forgiven for missing them because I did. And I thought, what can I do with these dies on their own? I know, I'm gonna make a die cut card which I have done here. So I'm going to show you how to make a version of this. So I've simply got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, cut it in half and scored it in half. And then I've taken another piece of Whisper White that is, because I'm international, I work in metric, um, half a centimetre shorter and narrower. If you work in Imperial, make it say an eighth of an inch shorter and narrower, or maybe even, you know, a quarter of an inch. And that's going to be the panel that I die, uh, that I emboss. So I've pulled out this one, the Bark Embossing Folder. Just a very nice embossing folder. And I'm going to position it in this way around. And this is not going to fit in my wonderful mini cut and emboss. So I'm going to layer up. So I want embossing folder hinge first one. I want plate number one. And then it tells me a clear plate. And then it says the embossing folder with the hinge going first and then a, uh, another clear plate. That can't be right. <laughs> what does this one say? Maybe I'm meant to use something else. I think that maybe that's meant to be used. Oh, standard embossing folder. <laughs> this is not, this is a 3D embossing folder. <laughs> use that with standard embossing folders. This is not, this is a 3D. Is that gonna be right? Am I missing a plate here? <laughs> it's painful, isn't it? There we go in the end so read your instructions carefully <laughs> don't, don't do what I did oh for goodness sake it even says it on the packet 3d embossing folder and I'm merrily reading the instructions for standard oh dear <laughs> so there's my beautifully embossed piece of card you can see all of that detail in there fantastic right <laughs> it's clearly a 3d embossing folder by the thickness of it oh for goodness sake it hurts doesn't it i'm so sorry right another piece of cardstock and let me get my dies out so well, they really are iconic they're, they're birds and flowers and leaves and i just i love the toadstools i'm sure i've mentioned it before i have toadstools photoed stools in my garden um and i just i think they're lovely i'm going to take this long one this time around yeah yeah they illuminate they light up at night it's lovely 
when I was a very little girl, my um, my parents had um, a concrete toadstool. I don't really know why, but they did. And it was lovely, and I used to sit on it. Okay. So, let me see if I can get all of these cut out in one go. I will be very impressed if I can. I think I said this the other day in a video that I found my, myself doing far more dye work than ever before because of my little um, cut and emboss machine. Far more die cutting than, than I ever used to do. And I think that's because it's right here on my desk. The bigger one that obviously I just use for the embossing. It sits on a shelf behind me. I mean, it's not exactly far away, but I think because it's not jumping out and going, hey, Sam, I'm here, I forget to remember to use it. There we go. So I'm going to take all those bits and pop them back in here. Okay. It's half-term holiday here in the UK. Well, it was last week when I'm filming this. And somebody's having a late breakfast downstairs. I can hear them. Dear. Right, so there's my four pieces. So there's a little bit in there. There we go. Pop all of those bits out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some um, inks. I want cherry cobbler. I want garden green this time. And then I'm going to take soft suede, I think. And I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I've got my blending brushes here. I love these. They're little, it's hairy, they're hairs, really fine, very soft. And a little bit on my brush, just check how dark it is, and just swipe over. Oh, look, I didn't brush off first. I've got a dark lump there now. And you can go semi-detailed, so I can make those bits of the branch that little bit darker. Can you see that that's a little bit darker than the, the rest? I just thought this was a fun technique to do. So that's one. I'm going to do my fern bit with the garden green. And I thought this was kind of a quite nature-esque look because nature isn't perfect. Whoops. Perfect layered colouring. It's blotchy and it's splodgy and it's darker in some bits than others. And I just liked the technique. I just thought that was a bit of fun. So you can see it's darker in these patches, a bit paler there. And then finally, my toadstools with my cherry cobbler. Oh, that's very dark. Okay, let's get a lot of that off. <sighs> and sort of make it kind of semi ombre. I would come, I would start at the top and go down, but I think it might flick it a bit too much. No, mm, we're okay. That's pretty, isn't it? And then the same on this little diddy one. This diddy one's so cute. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my finger where I don't want to come down, so there's no risk of making the stalk of that toadstool even vaguely cherry cobbler colour. And that is those done. Oh, I'm going to zoom out and start layering it all up together. So 
don't <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on this side now because if I was to put that face down there it would be quite the mess and I don't want the mess um, so yeah work on a clean piece of cardstock a uh, grid paper rather so I'm putting adhesive on there and layering this on the top and I'm gonna get I love these this is our set of five bakers oh, and I'm going to get this neutral one and just pull off a length get a bit of glue down there and create some poodle loops because that's what I call them it was a name given to them by a lovely Australian demonstrator Linda Shrimpton and she called them poodle loops because I make the, I use them so often I thought that was lovely and then I'm going to get some mini glue dots on here on the ferny bit but where you wouldn't see them so they're hidden at the back and if you're more adept than me with the old liquid glue go for that I'm not very good with the liquid glue thing so I'm taking mini glue dots and turning them like into a little ball shape. And again, hiding it where, where you're not going to see it. I think those are two very charming cards really pretty this one had shaded spruce and cherry cobbler and then a different twine underneath and this one's garden green and I think they're lovely just a nice card to send to somebody just because anyway I hope you like them have a go at that technique using your brushes they clean up so easily. I'm going to take these down to the bathroom shortly and give them a wash under the tap with some liquid soap and they'll be good to go for another go. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.